begins a UFC welterweight division matchup. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big body kick landed. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. If you got him trapped in fight, you know, take down, he evades and escape. He's a phenomenal fighter. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, brutal move of the body. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh! You know, oh. Like that. Unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on the And both guys really throwing with authority. That shot blocked by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down with your head, land the punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? He lands flush with that right hand. Under two minutes to go in the round. And he lands the knee to the body now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ball collar tie. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, it's, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has the ability to stand in box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, that left hand is on point. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Real quick leg kick. Nice jab by Gamebred. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, continuing to work Whoa! the body to great effect. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Wow. He's hurt bad. 20 seconds now remain in the round. And now Masvidal's lower jaw now starting to 
show signs of swelling. That's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Big kick land. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. There, we'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. It's a beautiful, fast, good jab with meaning. Pretty good right hand. execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Vicente, the silent assassin, Lupin.